हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर हिमांशु गुप्ता एंड आई हैव बीन गाइडिंग स्टूडेंट्स फॉर द पास्ट थ्री इयर्स टू हेल्प देम गेट अ गुड रैंक इन एम्स पीजी एंड नीट पीजी सो गाइस टुडे इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द क्रेनियल नर्व कॉलम्स ओके बेसिकली आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू द इफरेंट नर्व कॉलम्स सो गाइज दिस टॉपिक यूज टू कन्फ्यूज मी अ लॉट वेन आई वॉज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर माई नीट पी एग्जाम एंड टूडे आई विल ट्राई टू मेक दिस टॉपिक अ लिटल सिंपलर फॉर यू right so guys you don't have to remember that which nerves have which which part of the cranial nerve nuclei right so you have to understand you have to understand okay if i'm talking about efferent i'm talking about the muscles and the glands of the body muscles and the glands of the body and if i'm talking about muscles right cranial nerve nuclei are going to supply the muscles of the head and neck muscles of the head and neck right now talking about the general somatic efferent general somatic efferent right so guys general somatic efferent it is going to supply the extra ocular muscles extra ocular muscles and guys we all know extra ocular muscles right these are supplied by third fourth and sixth nerve third fourth and sixth nerve and talking about talking about uh, muscles of the tongue talking about muscles of the tongue right muscles of the tongue are supplied by your 12th nerve muscles of the tongue are supplied by 12th nerve and these form the part of the general somatic efferent talking about special visceral efferent so special visceral efferent you have to remember that all the muscles which are derived from the pharyngeal arches all the muscles which are derived from the pharyngeal arches they are going to come under the special visceral efferent column special visceral efferent column right from the third from the first arch we have the muscles of mastication supplied by mandibular nerve from the second arch we have muscles of facial expression supplied by facial nerve from the third arch we have glossopharyngeal nerve that is going to supply your stylopharyngeal nerve and the fourth and the sixth arch it is going to supply the muscles of the larynx and pharynx muscles of the larynx and pharynx and talking about general visceral afferent column general visceral afferent column right so remember that this fourth and sixth uh, uh, new uh, pharyngeal uh, fourth and sixth pharyngeal arch it is supplied by it is it is supplying your muscles of the larynx and the pharynx right and the nucleus for this is nucleus nucleus ambiguous nucleus ambiguous right so it is part of the part of the special visceral efferent and talking about general visceral efferent talking about the general visceral efferent this will include your parotid gland parotid gland supplied by otic ganglion and otic ganglion is supplied by ninth nerve ninth nerve your sub mandibular and sublingual glands these are supplied by these are supplied by sub mandibular ganglion which is further supplied by which is further supplied by your seventh nerve then you have then you have your lacrimal and nasal glands lacrimal and nasal glands these are supplied by pterygo palatine ganglion which is receiving its supply from the seventh nerve which is receiving its supply from the seventh nerve right and at last you have dorsal nucleus of vagus dorsal nucleus of vagus which is going to supply the glands okay the glands of the uh, abdomen and chest right glands within the abdomen and chest right so i hope this short video gave you some clarity about the efferent nuclei efferent nuclei right so guys if you are uh, going for the unacademy subscription okay for the plus subscription you can use my code himanshu mamsi which will give you an additional 10% discount right so thank you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and we will meet in the next video